Hey guys and gals, Danny Boy here, and today I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 and the Motorola Edge. Now this is not the plus model of the Edge, this is the regular Edge. And what I want to do in this video is kind of do a comparison, a discussion on the speeds, the processors of these phones. Uh, just kind of, you know, go over what my personal experience has been in daily driving both of these phones and just see how they stack up uh, one against the other. Okay, so Galaxy Note 20 here, we know here uh, that this phone originally retailed for $999. It came out in August of 2020, okay, and um, the Motorola here, um, it came out, oh, I want to say maybe in May, give or take, right around that time, uh, maybe June, don't exactly remember, but the, the full retail price on this phone, um, you know, actually I think this phone came out at the beginning of August, yeah, it was the beginning of August 2020, so not kind of around uh, the, the time that the Note 20 came out, um, so anyway... <laughs> The full retail price on the Motorola here was $699. Okay, now I've seen both of these phones on sale, um, especially the Motorola. Uh, the Motorola I've seen, I've seen it as low as $400 on sale, okay, $300 off. Uh, the Note 20 here, I've seen it $200 off, down to $799. So you definitely can get deals on both of these phones. Um, they're both, you know, 2020 phones, so that's important. Uh, now, the Note 20 here has the 865 Plus processor. So basically, guys, that's top-of-the-line processor here. And you're definitely going to notice that, okay? It is just super, super fast. As a matter of fact, it's the fastest Android phone I've ever personally had, okay? It's that fast. It's just incredibly fast. Even though we do have a 60 hertz display here, the phone still feels really smooth and really fast, okay? Now, in, in contrast to the top-of-the-line Android processor here from Qualcomm, on this phone, we also have a Qualcomm processor, but it's the 765G. So that's kind of your, uh, your top-of-the-line mid-range processor on an Android phone, at least. Uh, I think they might be releasing one after the 765G, I could be wrong, maybe they've already released it, but at the time this came out in, in August, it was the top of the line mid-range processor, okay, and it also feels really fast, you're not gonna feel slow at all here on the Motorola Edge. Now, to aid the experience, we do have a 90 hertz display here. So unlike the Note 20 60 hertz, we have 90 hertz here. So that does add to the fast feeling of the phone. Now despite that, I would say overall, the Note 20 still feels faster in my opinion. Um, this is right behind it. But even though we don't have a higher refresh rate, it still feels lightning fast, okay? And remember, uh, when you have a higher refresh rate, that can be harder on the internals of the phone as well. So not having that and having the top-of-the-line processor is going to be a great experience. Okay, so all that being said, Let's go ahead and just do a, a basic test here. I don't want to do anything too fancy. Let's just launch some apps on each phone and kind of see how they, they stack up against each other. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. Now, I do have all apps closed on each phone, as you can see here. And let's just do some basic app launching. So let's go with the Bible app to start. 
Okay, definitely the Note 20 there is a bit more smooth on the load up of that app. Now let's do Firefox Focus. Okay, definitely the Note 20. Okay, let's do Wikipedia. Note 20 there just by a little bit. Um, do Dictionary. Note 20 there by a significant amount. Um, let's see, what else do we got? Let's do IMDB. Okay, Note 20 by a little bit, I think, there. Um, so, guys, you're kind of seeing the theme here that the Note 20 definitely appears to be a little bit faster. Um, let's go ahead and check the, the RAM here. Okay, so... I don't think there was a refresh there. Um, do Wikipedia. I don't think we have a refresh. Um, do IMDB. I don't know if those refreshed or not, or if just that top part refreshed, but um, they both did the same thing on that. Dictionary. Nah, I don't think we're seeing any refreshes here, guys, because, you know, here in 2020, um, they've pretty much got the RAM situations down on these phones. Uh, you're not going to really see, as long as you have 6 gigs of RAM, you're not really going to see RAM refreshes. Uh, at least I haven't on Android 9 or 10. I think we're kind of past that. You'd have to have a lot of stuff open and maybe some heavy games. Now, I don't think I mentioned this before, but the Note 20 here does have 8 gigabytes of RAM and the... Motorola Edge has 6 gigs of RAM, so you have a little bit more RAM here on the Note 20. And of course, if you're a heavy user, you're going to appreciate that more. For me personally, you know, I'm not, I'm a medium user typically on my phone, so I, I didn't notice any difference. Now, I daily drove the Note 20 here for about 6 weeks and the Motorola Edge for about 3 weeks. Okay, so for me, both phones were fast. Obviously, I believe the Note 20 is faster. Um, at least that was my experience. But they both feel really fast. Uh, I think thanks to the 90 hertz here on the Motorola Edge, that actually uh, makes it probably feel faster than it actually is. Uh, but it is nice to have that. If this phone didn't have it, it would probably still feel pretty fast, but there might be a bit more of a difference here. Okay, so both of these phones, guys, are really good, you know, phones. I mean, for we're talking $300 difference for, you know, greater price here for the Note 20. Um, do You know, I think I think the prices translate correctly as far as processing power goes. You are going to notice, I would say, you know, a significant amount of speed bump here, especially if you're doing something intensive like editing photos or even video. You're definitely going to appreciate the extra power of the Note 20. Whereas if you're just doing daily, regular tasks, checking email, surfing the web, stuff like that, uh, either one of these phones are going to be perfectly fine uh, for that. So basically, one's a power phone and one's just a almost power phone, okay? So, yeah, guys, those are my thoughts. I think both of these processors are good. And, of course, they're both 5G, right? They both have 5G networking capabilities uh, if you're around uh, in a 5G area, which I think, that's becoming more and more common these days. So great uh, download and upload speeds are even a little bit better too. Um, definitely appreciate the 5G um, 
and, and for for your internet speed. So guys, those are my thoughts here on the Galaxy Note 20 versus the Motorola Edge. As always, if you're enjoying my videos, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And then, of course, hitting that thumbs up button helps as well. But for now, guys, peace out.